How's it going, everybody? My name's Kyler, and today we're going to be doing the 1.10 showcase. Uh, so, we have some new box, we have a new mob, and there's some other stuff added that I'll be listening to. Listening to you, sorry. Uh, so, let's get right to the mobs, I guess. Yeah, mobs. And we have... Pull it so there's only one mob basically, and what it drops is raw salmon of what I got. And uh, the polar bear right here it mm. makes really realistic noises. Uh, it has a lot of health though, that's one thing I noticed. And yeah, it's a really cool model, and I never thought they would really add an animal like this to uh, Minecraft, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And two, let's get to the box. There are, there are, uh, four new blocks, yeah, four, and, uh, I'll list the name to you. Some of them are kind of weird, but I don't know. We got the red nether block, we got the bone block, we got the magma block, and the nether warp block. As you can see, they were right there, and I kind of, like, it's kind of saying, like, I don't really know, like, the bone block was a weird like appearance as a one in the 1.10 update, but I kind of actually like these new Nether blocks. And the cool thing about the magma block is, sorry, that it is actually animated. As you can see, it's like lava but has stone over it. Uh, I'll also be listing some things, some other updates to you that have appeared. So, they added things Husk and Stray. I do not know what those things are. I'm still trying to find them. I don't know if it's an enchantment. I don't know if it's a new ability or something, but I don't know. They added an auto jump option. That is actually pretty cool because I seen that you they automatically that is like always an option on that in Pocket Edition, I believe. But yeah, and they added so, there is apparently the bone, yeah, the bone block is found underground, and it's made from fossils, and, uh, yeah. There are also structure blocks for custom maps. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, they add, they, what is it? Improvements to some of the commands. I don't really care about that. Uh, a rare chance to find lonely trees in the plains. It's kind of, mm. like, cool, like, that they would add that. Uh, s some huge mushrooms can e can be even larger. Mm. That I don't really know, like how much big mu big mushrooms can get. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, villager villages gen uh generate better paths between the buildings. I don't really know. I think that means uh built like bigger paths like. I don't know, it used to be two block paths between buildings. I don't know if they're like upgrading it to three or four, I don't know. But, hmm. More variations of villages uh, based on the biomes they are built in. That's actually pretty cool. Like, if there's a village in a swamp biome, I don't know what it's going to look like. It's going to be looking like, mo like mossy and stuff. I don't know. Don't really have examples, but yeah. It's kind of cool to add to that. And uh, one of the biggest things I'm going to list there here is a mob change, and it's for the Endermen. And now Endermen can ha have, like, or can be spotted in the Nether. So basically, Endermen are now in the Nether, and that's pretty cool, actually. But also pretty strange, because I don't know. Like, I don't know if this mob belongs in, uh, like, the like regular world or the like or the nether i don't really know like or the the end is a pretty good place for it but i don't know like why like it's kind of weird like that they're adding like all the biomes like i don't know but that's basically all guys uh thank you for watching my video uh like and subscribe to this video if you liked it or enjoyed it mm. i don't really know this is my first video but yeah hope you like my channel and see you guys later bye